tying a center knot, which is properly known as Ayaba by the Yoga people. But guys, I noticed something. When you are tying the center knot with length 90, there's always this challenge you normally have. Now, I'm going to correct that challenge and tell you how to do it the giddy way. So, so guys, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the giddy way. First of all, you share 50 50. Make sure it's 50 50. Good. So, make sure it's 50 50. Then, I, told, I normally tell you when I pick anywhere, it's going to be equal because I've shared the 50 50. So, you're going to pick. I'm not managing my plates, neither am I counting or so. So, but whenever I'm tying any gilet that involve two sides, I'm like picking almost to the end. This one will be enough to arrange back up her head. So, what we do now? Give her this to hold. It's okay, make it equal. Give her this to hold. Now, well, if you have been following me, you notice my gilet. Neatness is one of the things I always say. Always make your gilly very, very neat. Get always make your gilly very, 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 very neat. Okay. Okay. Dress, dress it. Dress. Come to the back, come to the back, please. Now, normally, you know what we always do take it backward this way. So, we'll take it backward. She's holding it very firm. Then, you know what we normally do the short one for? But since they are equal, I still like to do it the normal way I do it, which is the left side is always up and the right. This side is always down, just the normal way to do it. But, you know, always arrange the pleats you make. It will make your gilly come out very, very neat. I'll let that the pleat in it. They drag it to the back. They drag it a little bit. They give her this one to hold. You can see the way I'm holding it here for giving up. So, guys, come here now. Now, the way, there's a way I type mine. There's a way I type mine. Or I'm going to be. There's a, there's a pattern I use in tying the 75. You can use it to tie this length 90. But now I want to give you other pattern you can use to tie. So this pattern is you just pick just three or four from just the first layer you get. So pick it and come in Just arrange it. Arrange it properly one, two, three, so let me say four. Get just from the first layer, then she holds it very well. Then this now, it's very tight. Then you make your one. Two, three, four. Okay, so lift it up and make sure it follows the ear also. Follows the last split. Follows the last split also. Then you put your hand here. Yes, you put your hands here. So guys, see what I was saying. If you share like this, hmm? If you should share like this, you see it's very, very long if you should share like this. And side, you notice that everything will enter into each other. So I derived it method, look at it, look at it, look at it. From like this now, you take to create yours. See, create yours. Hmm? So now, time. You see, we're tight now. I'm gonna make it very tight. Tight, right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, now that we have made it tight, she's still holding. Then, you see, bring this one to the back. Now we have gotten our knot. You see, we've gotten our knot. We've gotten our knot. It might be too small to tie, but just twist it around the second time. Then you try to drag. It's tight already, but this one is also hold it. Now, see what will happen. Now, I've crossed it two times. Please stop to the back and see what I'll do. 
I see this one like this now. I'll pin it to the back. I'll pin it to the back. So this way it will stay. You see this one not too. Hello, look at what you're doing though. Check. Are you sure that today I've not touched? Eh? So you see? Where pin? Now it's properly pinched. You just hold on this side for me. Now remove your hand from this side. So guys, you know there are two ways to pick round. So now we'll keep from picking this gradually. Always pick, make sure you pick to the back. Keep picking. Now and you know there's a number of pleats you're supposed to make. Yes. So we just keep arranging, arranging. So you keep picking, you keep picking, you keep picking, keep on picking. Get so just keep picking. Like you keep going, keep going. So it just is just you arranging one plate on top of each other at the time they arrange it to continue, arrange it to continue. So when we get this way now, you can see we're done. So we just arrange it. So we have this now. So we'll continue arranging it one step at a time. One step at a time. Now if you know I normally say you arrange with one hand. Okay. Now there's something I normally say when it comes to this tag, you see. When it comes to this style, when you arrange your pleat up to this extent, when you arrange your pleat up to this extent, I think you've done well. What you need to do is hold it very firm, then you start breaking your ruffle. Now you see these ones, you try to break it very calmly, you fold together, then you start folding everything inside to make it tight. You see the way you place your hand like this to hold this pleat so that they don't just scatter. So what you do, you break this way fixed, and you break this one in fixed. You break this one in fixed, break it back so that you see it. Then you break this one in fixed. Now you continue, look at it. You break it in. Start breaking it in. You break this one in. Yeah. So when you keep breaking, keep breaking. Keep breaking in. In. You start. Then you keep going, keep going. Now you see? You keep breaking in. Then this one start coming on top. This is the break. The break. So you break in that. So you break in, and now you just want to come across it just like the way we tied the seventy five. You get just like the way the tie is 75. You get. So now we try to pin here, we try to pin at the middle, which is the knot. Okay, so, so guys, you see how it is. Now you have your ruffle, you have your pleats. But if you were to do it the other way, if you were to do it the other way, tie everything together, you might not get that ruffle properly work. So, yeah, you might not get that ruffle properly work. So, the same thing we did here now, we'll do it here also. Gotcha, just for the same thing we did. Continue it here. Take it back a little so that you see it. 
Tak sini tapi. Hmm. Okay, sini tu it. Continue. Keep arranging pleats on top pleats. Understand? Keep arranging the pleats on top each other. If you don't want to do it that way, just watch the how I did it for the layer 75 so that you can just pick everything once. Okay, so what I'll do now is see. So you see this one now. Oh, because this one is on top, all the pleats, because this one now is on top, everything is moving up. Then you arrange it to the back, just watch. Arrange it gradually so I read everything on top. Then when you get here like this, kind of twist it. Twist it and you try to to pin so that it will stay. So you come this way now. Okay. So please come to the front. So the okay now, see what I'm gonna be doing. I'm picking for the front to show you guys that we can also pick from the front. You get, you can also pick from the front. But most times, I don't know if you have noticed, I like picking from the back. So, no, just start the front. I like picking from the back, then just arrange, arrange, arrange. Yes, so. Oh, I got it here now. You see the way I'm still holding it so that we can create our ruffle gently, gently. Just create our ruffle gently. We'll be breaking them gradually. Yes, so. Careful, careful, careful. Just break, break, break. Keep breaking. I'll break all these on this side. So we'll start breaking all this one. And try I'll start breaking it forward. So that this one also can come across it. two together try to bring both sides together and peel see if one of peel both together please take a look you take it from here to this side take it from here to this side then you bring it back okay so this one now So now I can use your hand to push it backward and arrange. Can use that to push it so that the pin in this thing will not be too white. Yeah, stop will not be too white. Yeah, you pin together. Now you can still arrange your pleat, your pleats. So bring it out, arrange it. So that it doesn't bend backward that much. You still arrange it. So you get arrange it, arrange it. Do the same for here. If you notice this is pushing backward that much, then you lose it here first so that you arrange it. Now you notice it's pushing back. Pushing back. Sorry, I'm coming. I'm coming. Moving backwards. You can start, right? Yes. Okay. So you notice it's moving backward. So you just use pin to hold it here. Please be careful. You can see very close to our ears. Be careful. Be careful. So this was now. Arrange it properly. Arrange it properly. Arrange it properly well. Then you notice something at the front. Okay. Well, good to go position. We'll come back to look for how we we'll pin it so that it will be okay. 
rearrange, rearrange from to the back just a little. Rearrange, just retwist it again. So that it doesn't scatter. Okay, so maybe here now, you try to look for the one that will fill here. And just to make it look okay. So you pin both sides together here at the back also. Come to the front. Are you not ask ah, why is this still showing? You can pin it down. Eh? So you can pin it or can pin it down. You can see that place. So this is where you use the 90 to tight. Yes, we're using the 90 tight. This is how it looks. You can see. The ruffles are still out. The ruffles are out, the pleats are out, everything is out. Then we have a very fine knot in here. Again, so we have a very fine knot in here. So it's just for you to dress your pleats, dress your pleats. Then we're going to go. So now come to the back. If the person comes to the back this way, if the person wants his hair open, we'll open it this way. But if he or she does not wrap properly, and pin, wrap properly. Just pin. So, yeah. So, okay, so we're done. So, like this. So, you come and take a look at this. Okay. So, you can see this is how it is for bride. So, if you should tie it that normal way, it might not come out. Very, very well. It's just a cut. Yeah. Okay, so. Just, just, okay, we're done. So let me snap picture. 